great tutorial on Python. Today we'll be looking at drawing shapes on a canvas in Python. So what we're going to be using is the tkinter module and that is what can form the sort of backbone of what we're going to be drawing on our canvas. So let's get to it. First thing to do is zoom in so you can all see on whatever platform you're watching on. And then we're going to be importing tkinter as tkr and then creating our master window and having it activated at the bottom there. If you can see that, hopefully you can. Next thing I'll do is create a canvas. We type in tkr.canvas. Uh, we're going to link it into our master. And then specify the width and the height. And that's exactly what I've done below. <laughs> Here's what I did earlier. And then we're going to call that canvas. Next thing you're going to do is pack it so that it fills up the entire window of the master uh, of the master window. So that's exactly what we've done with this. We've used expand equals yes and fill equals both. And by doing that, it fills the entire window of the master of the master window. Next thing we do now, let's start with the rectangle. But then after that, we're going to be drawing the circle and then a polygon, which I'll be using to draw a triangle. So let's start with the rectangle. First, what we're going to do is call in the create rectangle function by typing in canvas dot create rectangle. Notice that's here. And then you just type in the dimensions of the first point and then the dimensions of the second point. And then what you can do is also specify how thick you want the line around the rectangle to be with width equals one, and then what color you want to fill it in. So I want it to be a red rectangle, so I filled it in red. And then what you can do then is move the rectangle on the canvas however you want it. By typing in canvas.move, and then type in the shape you want to move and then what how we want it to move in the x and y direction so let's see what we have now this is what we have a rectangle in the center of the screen now if i hadn't moved it at all something you're going to be aware of is a datum point for the move function is bottom right for me it may be different for you um when we go on to draw the circle uh, the datum point is actually in the top left, so you can be careful with your datum points when you're using a canvas and drawing shapes. Uh, another thing to be careful of is this is also these are also coordinates when you draw the shape. So uh, what is normally the case with uh, canvas is that the first two represent the first point, so x point and the y point. And then the, se the second um, set of two represents another point in the X and Y. So just be careful of that. So you can change the, the size and shape of a rectangle by moving from point to point. Not It's not representative of any lines or just because it's a rectangle and you have four points. That doesn't mean it's doesn't mean that you're know, specifying a line in each in each number. It's actually one. Each set of two is a point you're specifying in the x and y direction so just be aware of that so moving on the second thing you've got to, i'm going to do now is draw a circle and exactly the same thing with the points we remember this is the first point of the circle and then so we're specifying the first coordinate and then what it's going to do it's going to essentially draw uh, a circle shape in sort of to the next point so what you can do is make it bigger and smaller by making the points closer or further away from each other or making it flatter and wider as well. So what we're going to be using is the create oval function. Just simply type in canvas dot create oval. Exactly a similar sort of way of doing create rectangle. And we're going to equal and then we're going to specify the width of the line. I made it a bit heavier. And instead of filling it in red like I did the rectangle, I'm going to fill this in blue. I'm going to call that circle. And so if we load it again, notice here you've got a circle joined. So 
let me show you what happens if I change this to be 0, 0. Comes from the top. So what's it done here? It's drawn a circle from up here, top left, dating point, down to the right. Notice there's it goes really flat here because it is essentially drawing a circle in a specified square, essentially. So from one point, this is our first point, x1, y1, and this is our second point, x2, y2, and it's drawn a circle in there. So let's get that back to how it was. And there it is. So the final thing, we're going to draw a triangle using the poly, uh, um, creating a, by creating a polygon, which is essentially, you can draw however many lines you want. I've just stopped at three sets of points. So I've made, so what I've done is done exactly the same thing here, canvas.create polygon in exactly the same way as creating an oval or a rectangle, except I've made it easier on myself by putting points as a list here. So then I can specify the number of points here very easily and change it, uh, you know, make it easier for me to update it if and when I want. And I've put the width of the line as one and I've made it green. And what I've done also is moved it across the page. So I'm moving shape one, you know, 100 degree, 100 points in the x direction and nothing in the y direction. So let's see what we've got here. So there is our triangle. Notice it's a triangle because we've got three sets of points. We've got x1, y1, x2, y2, and x3, y3. And you can always change it however you want it to be however you want it. Notice that become it's changed. You can also add, you know, x4, y4, however many points you want. Uh, so you can 150, 50. This might look very odd. Yeah, look at that. It's all to do with where you put your coordinates. And it draws from one point to the next. So you've got to be careful of that as well. And then fills in. Uh, yeah, so it draws from one point to the next and fills in where, uh, you know, the points uh, cross each other and creating sort of shape. So you've got to be careful of that when drawing your polygon. Make sure if you want to draw a rectangle, I'd recommend doing the create rectangle command, although you can do it by drawing a polygon. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope, really hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and share it if you really like it. And um, that's all we've got time for today. Thanks very much for watching and have a great one.